Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. If you're new here and today's video is going to be some cleaning motivation for you guys again. This is actually the fourth day of my five days of cleaning motivation series that I decided to do on my channel. I really wanted to dedicate a full week of cleaning for everyone who really loves my cleaning videos. I feel like I haven't really posted that many cleaning videos recently, so I wanted to give you guys a ton of motivation this week. So I hope you all are really enjoying this. Um, but today we are just cleaning the floors, working on wiping down the baseboards, uh, the windows, and dusting a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's just get started into this major cleaning motivation. So if you're wondering what I'm using, it's just the Mr. Clean All-Purpose Cleaner in the Gain Scent. It smells amazing. It makes the house smell so good all day long. So I really love cleaning with this. I just pour it into a uh, spray bottle and make my own um, little concentration of it. That way I have a ton of bottles and it works really great at cleaning. We are who we are. Why don't So as you can see, I'm just wiping off the cabinets. I have to do this a lot with my kids because obviously they eat in here and their little sticky fingers get all over my white cabinets. So I have to constantly wipe them down to keep them clean. Um, and I'm actually out of magic erasers. So right here I was just using a baby wipe and the same spray that I was using to clean the baseboards. And now we're going to move on to mopping the floors. I like using Pine Sol because I feel like it works really well at getting up all the grease, the stains, the smell, everything that's left behind between kids and dogs. So I love using Pine Sol. I just use two capfuls in a bucket this size and pour some water over it and that's plenty enough to mop my floors. It is very strong as it is so if I use too much it's just way too much for me. So I use only two capfuls and like I said, it lasts a long time, it smells great and it works great. You were on fire when I met you Born with a longing for the open road Had a hunger burning in your heart Enough to tear the world apart We were like outlaws on the west coast Leaving our footprints in the wet sand Now our love is more like a remedy 
So a couple years ago, my mom actually bought me this mop when I lived next door in my old mobile home because there was hard floors throughout that house and my mop constantly fell apart. So she bought me this one and that bucket and it has lasted me forever. As many times as I've like bleached it and to sanitize it and everything, it has held up so great. It has never fallen apart on me and I love the part that you can like strain it really good. So I did, or she did get it from Dollar General if you are interested in looking to purchase a mop like mine. So y'all have probably noticed that I always have my blinds and my curtains open for natural light. So along with that comes lots of little fingerprints on my windows. So I have to do this so much, you guys. I'm constantly wiping those windows clean. And my fan also gets really dusty really quick. So I usually have to do this at least once a month to make sure that my fan is not like throwing dust around in the house. So in yesterday's video, I started to kind of polish this TV stand a little bit, but then my daughter kept trying to help me. So while my kids were busy, I decided to go ahead and finish this up really quick. And all I do is just kind of polish the wood a little bit with this old English. It smells like lemons. It smells amazing. And it lasts for a really long time. So I just kind of rub it in on the areas that get really dull, especially on like the plywood areas in the center. Um, those are the parts that my husband and I added in whenever we turned this dresser into the entertainment center. And one more thing is I get a lot of questions on whether or not we're, we are going to refinish this and paint it. And the answer is no, we're not going to. I want to leave it how it is just because it has a lot of character. It looks really old and I love that look. And there's some just some things that I just don't want to paint over. And this is one of them. So to dust this, I'm just using this multi-purpose spray cleaner. It's actually also glass cleaner, so it works really good for wiping off the picture frames and everything like that. Um, 
But I did want to mention that I do want to redecorate this TV stand built-in area. I don't really know what exactly I want to do to it just yet, but I'm just tired of the stuff that's been up there and I'm going to start looking for things on sale at the thrift store and stuff to add in here. And by the way, this coal pail won't be staying up here. I just have it up there so the kids don't touch it until I can decide what I want to do with it. The reason why I wanted to mention that was because I do have a Pinterest now. If you guys want to go follow me, it is Budget Fam. Um, but I would love if you guys would send me some ideas as far as the built-in decorations go. I've just been struggling a lot trying to find um, some ideas for built-ins in my style, if that makes sense. So if y'all have any ideas, definitely send me them. I would really appreciate it. my little partner falls over the vacuum in just a second I felt so bad but he was okay he was, he was just so busy vacuuming he he was stepping backwards and I wasn't really paying attention either and the poor little thing fell but he's okay he got up and kept vacuuming So I'm going to end today's video with some vacuuming. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's cleaning motivation. It was a little bit different than the normal cleaning I do on my channel. So please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see all of you tomorrow in my next cleaning video. Bye y'all.